Number 5. Because of our current lifestyle, whenever we see someone holding something to their ear, we would think, oh, they're on their phone. And this is exactly what's happening in this video. It's from a Charlie Chaplin's film called The Circus. Look at this particular character. As you can see, the person had his hand near his ears. So some people think this person was a time traveler that was using a mobile phone. Do you think it's a phone or a walkie-talkie? Or was it one of those hearing aids they had at the time? What do you think? Number 4 A photo of a time traveler was said to have been taken in 1917. This guy didn't hold a phone like most of these evidences, but the way he presented himself was the cause of this belief. The photo came from a book. It's called The Great Cape Scott Story by Lester Ray Peterson in 1974. People speculated that the man looked too modern in the crowd of pioneers. They say it's surfer-like. Plus the man beside him looked like he was staring at the supposed time traveler. And if you zoom out, there's another woman that looked like she was pointing towards him. So either the man and woman was shouting or communicating to each other and had nothing to do with the man's appearance, or they were perplexed by the time traveler's appearance. Either way, the supposed time traveler seemed to be one who thinks outside the box. Perhaps the box was a time traveling box. Number 3 this next one isn't really caught on camera, rather it's a painting. A painting from the 1600s. The title of the painting was literally, Man Handing a Letter to a Woman in the Entrance Hall of a House. It was painted by Pieter de Hooch in 1670. The supposed letter is what made people think there's time-traveling proof in the painting. It looks like an iPhone, people said. But I do have to say that the way the man was holding the iPhone seemed pretty weird for a phone. What do you think? Number 2. Here's a viral video of a woman caught using a cell phone when cell phones weren't around. Was she really a time traveler? Well, there were claims that she was not. Apparently, the claim said that she was using a prototype wireless telephone for the DuPont company, an industrial giant. But seeing how the first ever cell phone marketed was very bulky, and the one she had was palm-sized, it really does make you doubt that claim, doesn't it? Number 1 The famous video of Mike Tyson's boxing match. Most people would be intrigued by the match itself, but no, that's not what this video is about. Instead, in the background, you could see something that looked like someone using a phone to record the event. Another phone for proof. If it was really a time traveler, it makes you think that the people who time travel really can't seem to put down their phones. Anyway, maybe it was a phone. Or maybe it was just the Fuji X simple Hi8 hand camera, which looks like this. Eh, let's just say it's real time traveling and that was a phone. But what do you think? <laughs> 